welcome you to our nation and indeed to our community here in Leeds. Um, the citizenship ceremony in itself is a rite of passage that formally welcomes uh, those who wish to join us into full membership of the British family and indeed into citizenship of the United Kingdom, which is a state built upon a union of nations, beliefs, and indeed common civic values. One of the prime purposes of your ceremony today is to remind you that, um, indeed, of the responsibilities that flow from becoming a British citizen. The values and principles that underpin British society are extremely important, particularly in such a large community like Leeds. A respect for law and order, valuing freedom of speech, defending the individual's right to have their own opinion, tolerance and respect for other people's beliefs, and an understanding of and participation in the democratic process. All are fundamental to play a key role in British society today. So in other words, if you wish to aspire to become the next Prime Minister, you have the right to do so. Um, there are lots of ways in which you can help your community, as I'm sure, but we trust that becoming a British citizen will enrich your life and in turn that you and your family will enrich the lives of others such as myself. Another purpose of the ceremony is to extend a very warm welcome to everyone who has decided to make their home here in Leeds. And we really hope that you enjoy the rich, unique mix of the Leeds Society, which has um, many festivals and religious celebrations and it's the council's mission to bring the benefits of a prosperous and vibrant city to all the people of Leeds. So, I will remind you again that to be a British citizen means that you should show tolerance and respect for others. And today, as part of this ceremony, I'm going to ask you to make promises and to swear an oath to the sovereign that you will be a faithful citizen. And I will also be asking you to make a formal and public pledge that you will be a loyal subject and observe the laws of this country. So, if I could ask you to stand and ask you to repeat the words of the Oath of Allegiance for me. Thank you, my lady. Yeah, you come round this side. Thank you, my lady. Wait a minute, I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me turn the Queen around so that you can get the Queen there as well. Okay? There we are. Do I need to raise my hand? No, it's entirely up to you. You don't have to. You can put your hand on your heart. You can just read it, whatever you want to do. I, Gordon Hare, swear by Almighty God that on becoming a British citizen, I'll be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors, according to law. Thank you for that. Now would you read the Pledge of Commitment? I'll give my loyalty to the United Kingdom and respect its rights and freedoms. I will uphold its democratic values. I will observe its laws faithfully and fulfill my duties and obligations as a British citizen. Well done. We welcome you on behalf of the Queen, Government, Parliament and the people of the United Kingdom and Thank indeed you. Leeds City Council to British citizenship, by which is extended to you the right to participate fully in civic society. From this day forward, we hope you will enjoy your new status as a British citizen and we hope you will enrich the lives of others and indeed find your own life enriched. We'll now just listen to the national anthem. So we'll remain standing. No! 
because I think you did a fabulous job oh, there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well done. That was wonderful to watch. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to you. you. You are now officially a British citizen. Thank you. So I'm going to date your certificate. Well oh, done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> that is lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know I've had such jolly people today? It's been really nice. Thank you. I was eating months or something like that, but today I've had such lovely people. It's been really nice. Ooh. That is lovely. Now, can I ask you, Gordon, did you apply for your British passport at the same time that yes, you applied for your naturalisation? Yes, lovely. Yes. Now, what happens is, when I go back to work this evening, yeah. I'm going to inform the Home Office by email that you've attended today, okay. and then they will arrange tomorrow to print your British passport, okay. and that will come direct to your home address. Okay. Now, usually it is within 21 days of the date that they get informed, okay? But we have the Christmas holiday and the New Year holiday. So hopefully it will not be delayed too long for you, but it is normally 21 working days, okay? So hopefully that will be with you in good time. Okay. And then when you receive it, um, inside you'll actually...